couple of inches, three inches thick, and the root structures spread out more horizontally than rather than down vertically because yeah. there's not a lot of water down. There's an environment right behind you. Oh, there. there's a <laughs> um, Oh, look how cute. And that's one of the reasons that the Alpine Marmite. Tundra is such a sensitive environment in terms of people like walking on it and stuff is because of those horizontal root structures. They don't really dig down deep into the ground. You can damage them really easily. And if they do get damaged, like where the trails are cut into the, mm -hmm. um, those trails will stay there. And like the Ute Trail is what, front, it's like over 9,000 right. years old. Um, and it won't grow back. And that's why it takes like a really long time, hundreds of years for it to grow back. So every step is like 100 years. Yeah. So well, how, I, I've heard so many different years on this. How long does it take for this thunder to grow an inch? I've heard from 20, 40, 60, 80 years. I would think at least 80. I think the slower growing the best one. Uh, I believe this basin and this snow in front of us here goes down into the Poudre Valley. That's right. Oh. So this is the snow that's over on this side is going down the Fall River. Yeah. And then the this snow over this is going to go to Poudre and it'll go down to Fort Collins. And is that Wyoming? Yes. Uh, not quite. Well, it's it's, over we the have next. to, once we get up to the Alpine. They do what's called caching, where you take gunpowder, you dig a hole, put like gunpowder, venison, stuff in there that you want to come back for later, cover it with dirt and then like big rocks on top of it. So you have your secret stash. Oh, okay.